All right, good afternoon. Welcome to CNT Collectibles. This is our big game edition of uh, kind of our market review for football cards today. We're going to pick up some of the uh, better players that from got... The teams that made it to the Super Bowl From the today. teams that got... Well, we can't say Super Bowl. We have to say big game because if you say Super Bowl, the NFL could get mad because it's a copyrighted term. So saying Super Bowl, they could come after you and say we want some money because you said Super Bowl. So we're going to really try not to say Super Bowl, okay? So instead of saying Super Bowl, we're going to say give big game, okay? Okay. Super Bowl. Okay. All right. So we'll start off with a couple of the uh, the big dogs for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And of course, how can you uh, how can you do something like this while looking at Tom Brady? The so Hall of Famer that's going to retire in 2023. The goat. The goat. You can see back here in 2015. He's going to retire in 2023 because of Madden. Madden. Yeah. He's 25 years old, or he's going to be 45, I think, what he said. So, uh, just if he feels like I feel like 45, he might call it quits a little bit sooner. So, uh, compression and a breakout. So, if you're watching us in 2015, and even more helpful, if we were making videos in 2015, we would have said this is where you buy, and then you could have had this nice run up. So, uh, this this channel broke out into a little more aggressive trend, and so now you're a third stage parabolic, but he is respecting uh, these boundaries here, and so you could see a little more pop if he has a good game, but. None of these players today are buys because what you're looking for, we always kind of preach this, is you want relevance out of your out of players that you're buying for the longer term. And there's nothing more relevant than players playing in the Super Bowl. So um, none of these are buys. Maybe there's a little bit of a pullback, but right now he's, he's respecting this. So back into this range and you look for some more downside, but otherwise right here, um, still an opportunity to, to, to catch a little bit of a pop for, uh, for, for Tom Brady. What do you see? Um, I see that he also a lot of money has a pop. Also, yeah, exactly. No, a lot of money been made. All right, so moving on to his longtime teammate, and that is Rob Gronkowski. His he, name receiver or receiver for a long time, for a long time. Yeah, so uh, kind of bounced along these lines for a while here. A little breakout, retested this line, and now you're you're looking at another uh, another trend here. So um, you know, let's hit this three times. You want to see this hit multiple times to establish that line and. Here he is, and he's coming off a little bit here, so this is an area where perhaps you could see a little bit of buying. So it depends on how the game goes today, but again, wouldn't touch him here because the offseason, uh, maybe he falls back into this area, but not a, a, a crazy expensive card or anything like that. A couple hundred bucks for a PSA 10, uh, but it is up from $50 earlier, so that uh, coming out of retirement helped him. So you can see what the relevance does. Yeah, if he goes back into retirement this year, then you know, maybe he comes back down into this area here. So uh, Rod Gronkowski, kind of a who knows what's going to happen. There's an equal amount of upside and downside. For the time being, and we cannot talk about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers without talking about this next player. Tom Brady gets all of the love. He's a great player, but he's nothing compared to our next player, who leads the league in every possible category. And that is, of course, Hingle McCringleberry. Yes, uh, he is the best player ever, no doubt. Yeah, there's, there's one thought question. This is goats wish they could be this kind of a goat. You can see what's happened to his card prices. I mean, they've gone from you can't afford it. Uh, all the way up to uh, infinity, and so that's still, and I think they go higher here. So it's, it goes up from you can't afford it. Jeff Bezos can't. <laughs> Jeff Bezos can't afford it. No. Infinity. Infinity, exactly. So we're at infinity, and I think it goes higher. So we are seeing seeing a little bit of a crack, and so just uh, just as an aside, this '86 Fleer, wink, wink, Kingle McCringleberry, starting to see some selling where there was very little volume. So it's going to return to a level where more people are going to pick it up. So it's just going to go down to where maybe only Jeff Bezos can buy it. Is is my guess in this one, but because he is the richest. Yeah, oh, next to Hingle McCringleberry, of course. So, all right. And Hingle McCringleberry is so good. They just give him like more money than Jeff Bezos. They give him all the money. He gets all the money. All right, let's move over to the Kansas City Chiefs, and that is, you, you, you can't talk about the Chiefs without talking about Pat Mahomes, son of former Twins pitcher Pat Mahomes Senior, and that's what he's probably best known for. And I think he'll be a good quarterback that's down like the road. That's one of but... the reasons I like Pat Mahomes, and I also one like one of the many. He's very good. Yep, absolutely. And no, we not... like we like our Minnesota fans. So this is my Brett Favre jersey, and Brett Favre is best known for bringing the Vikings to the 2009 NFC Championship game against the Saints. So all right, big Did uptrend. Lose that time? We don't talk about that. All right, big uptrend oh. for Patrick Mahomes, and he had this consolidation breakout, and here he goes. So there's probably more upside, but again, a little too much, too fast. If you bring this down to kind of the linear mode, you can see that this is just a very, very steep rise going from. You know, kind of that five thousand dollar area up to you know fifteen thousand dollars. So you could see uh, you could see some pullback into the off season, but the uptrend is still intact for Patrick Mahomes, and uh, he could certainly turn into one of the all time greats. But it's still uh, maybe it's still a little early for that kind of a price point. But the whole market again, we talked about the money supply. The whole market's going up, so you know the the, the best players rightfully should probably go nuts with them. All right, one of the uh, the players that uh, he likes to throw to the most is Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill, yeah. If he does this for another decade, that's Longevity. The longevity is the key here. So you can see that the prices, you know, this doesn't look like much, but, you know, this was about 
of, uh, you know, call it 70, 80 bucks up to, you know, 500. So he's at the top of the range here, starting to come up a little bit. So here's a little area of support. Again, a good game could pop him back up again, but um, I don't think I would do much here. You know, the off season it would become re less relevant for whatever reason. Um, well, the reason is they're not playing. But, you know, whether he does good or bad today doesn't matter. There's not going to be relevance in the off season. You can see these price prices s slide a little bit. So there's not a lot of buying here. So it only he, takes one or two sales to really push it up or down. Win, Right. Gonna, um, break out there. Right. Well, you know, the, the sports are are kind of a, a fickle business. A good game this season. That's what I'm saying. You can see a little bit of a pop that I think you see resume selling just because it's all about what have you done for me lately. Tension will turn to baseball and then maybe towards the next summer, something like that, you see these prices rise again. So anyways, top of the range. It's like I wouldn't do much here. Alright, our final player for the day. Patrick Mahomes wouldn't be what he is without a steady diet of... Um. Fudge. Fudge, and this is by far, I mean, the best player on the Chiefs. He's probably second, right up there with Hingle McCringleberry in terms of all-time football players. And so it makes yeah. sense that his, play, that his prices are sky high at this point. And you can kind of see that McCringleberry and Fudge, you know, there's there's but, been some sales. Not a lot of buying here, so maybe they turn to a level where you only have to give up your mom. Yeah. Right, yeah, you know, before you cost it your dog, and it's like, okay, you know, some people are willing to do that, and then your mom, and then the combined market cap of, like, Tesla, Amazon, Apple, and Google, and then, you know, recently, um, you, Milky Way Galaxy, like, every, everything in the, in the entire and galaxy, what that, it would take to get that, your hands that, on his card, so. That exactly like Hingle McCringleberry, yeah. because they are the two best players. Exactly, so we're back to a thing where you just have to sell, like, the four, four of the largest companies in the planet, and, and you can afford a piece of, of this, uh, of this card. And up there is... Milky Way Galaxy. Yeah, absolutely. Like like we said, it's just, you know, everything you have, you put it at fudge. That's yep. all you can do. So, all right. Well, that's what we have here. Hopefully, uh, this is useful information. Um, For the it's all, that's what we're all about here. Money about the people who made it to the Super Bowl. There it is. Have a great day. Enjoy the game. The Super Bowl. That we're not, we shouldn't say Super Bowl. Just quit saying Super Bowl. Enjoy the big game. Have a uh, lovely day, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye.